Sean Fan. I'm artist in residence here at the VA. I'm an interdisciplinary artist and I work between the physical and the digital. I'm particularly interested in exploring that in between space where one seeps into the other and they become intermingled. I blend the physical and the digital in a multitude of ways. Um, sometimes it's using uh, a physical action uh, like performance and choreography and recording that digitally. So taking something that has that innate essence and presence of the body, translating that into a digital format and seeing how it changes and shifts and the, the kind of glitches and errors and unexpected things that come up within that. I'm quite interested in looking at the digital as an alternate dimension. I like to see our digital spaces as another layer on our reality and our devices as the portals within which we access those spaces. In particular for this residency, I was interested in looking at the, the kind of duality between the physical and the digital and then mirroring that by looking at the duality in my own identity. So I'm half Chinese, half British and naturally I decided to look at the China collections and the British collections here at the museum. One thing I found that was particularly interesting was the Chinoiserie collection, which was a really interesting example of two cultures seeping into each other. It was interesting because it was from this very British Western-centric uh, perspective, which actually really resonates with my own experience. So it was really interesting to be able to see that expressed in these objects where they've taken a lot of Asian motifs and then incorporated them through that kind of Western lens. So there's that filter overlaid onto this perspective of Chinese culture. The cloud collars are an object within the collections that immediately caught my interest. They drape around the shoulders and they're a traditional piece of Chinese clothing. So this is a probably a late 19th century, possibly early 20th century piece, and it would have been worn for a formal occasion. You've got these little accessories, which I think definitely point to, to a later date. And do you think there would have been more of these originally on it? Yes, definitely. Yeah, I do. So it would have kind of glistened in the light. Exactly. Yeah. Oh yeah, in fact yeah. you can see the, Some, yeah, the remnants the, of where yeah. they might have been. I'm really inspired by all of the florals on this particular piece. So that's a theme that kind of reoccurs in my work and it's something I'm seeing happen in the British collections and the China collections reoccurring symbols of botanics and plants mm. and flowers. And so I think I'm definitely going to take this and translate that into my work somehow. And also the shape, as I said, I think is just really, really striking. Um, and I'm excited to see how a garment like this might move, how it might be activated by dance and choreography. Beautiful. In the cloud collars, I was particularly struck by their sculptural quality and I wanted to integrate that into performance, but to, to translate it and make it something more transformational. And it was those pieces that got me really, really excited about the prospect of creating costumes during the residency. Botanics is a recurring motif within my practice. As part of that, I found different botanics from each collection, digitally manipulated them, and then used a video transition to shift one to the other. I then took that moment in between where the image is kind of both and neither at the same time and then those patterns were printed onto the costumes and I really liked this idea of the botanical form of the costume then being laid with the botanical symbols from the collections. The shape of the cloud collar is um, partly taken from reishi mushrooms. Reishi mushrooms have psychoactive properties and there was this history of shamanism where reishi mushrooms would be used as a way to access other dimensions through taking them as a psychoactive substance. And I thought it was really interesting this idea of botanics being a portal into a different dimension, where within my work I was looking at digital and our devices being this portal into another dimension. So there was quite a, a kind of fortuitous link there between the root of this object and accessing some kind of wonderland. I produced a large-scale aerial silks performance as part of the performance festival, which incorporated audio, digital projection, costume. 
The piece I created is called Between Worlds and it looks at what it means to exist between cultures, so specifically referencing me being half Chinese, half British, and then drawing upon the museum's collections as a way to visually express that. In terms of the choreography, I was really looking at how to make the body more of a sculptural form, so taking it away from traditional circus movement and trying to abstract it, make it slower but also a kind of more contemporary, slightly uglier in many ways, um, and moving away from the kind of clean definite lines that you get in circus and aerial movement. And I also wanted to do that through the costume, so the cloud collars themselves kind of drape around the shoulders, but when tipped upside down, they invert over the performer's head and they kind of frame it really beautifully and in that way it almost makes the performer look like a flower. Accompanying the Between Worlds performance was an interactive installation. This piece used an Xbox Kinect sensor to capture the audience movements and project them so it felt like you were looking at this digital reflection of yourself in the floor. Beyond the residency I want to continue the research that I've started here in looking at my heritage but particularly try to use my practice as a way of getting more in touch with my Chinese cultural background. So I want to start trying to actively incorporate more motifs and mediums that relate back to that experience as a way of trying to channel that ancestral experience and combine it with my lived experience.